Hi Gemini, this is Crystal Rose Insights here to do your March general reading for 2018. First off, I want to thank all of my um, subscribers, those of you who comment, like, share uh, my videos. I really appreciate it. I love the community that's um, congregated here on my channel. It's really an incredible group of people. And thank you for those of you who have reached out for private readings. I absolutely love getting to know people from all over the world and I swear I have the best, um, I have the best clients. I, I, you know, whether you book a reading with me or not, I just feel like the collective energy here is so wonderful and I'm really grateful for all of you for being here and it is my hope and prayer that you get value out of every, everything that I do here and so I really appreciate it and I appreciate your support, your donations, your, um, and your kind comments. Uh, it really means the world to me, so thank you. So, um, this is going to be a reading, a general reading for Gemini. This will be for Sun, Moon, and Rising, so please do check out your other signs and get additional messages. Uh, this is a blue topaz that's supporting us here today. This is a beautiful stone for connecting to your higher truth uh, of your heart. It's one to support your psychic abilities. It's one to improve communication with your spiritual team. And it's a very calming stone to the emotional body. So... It's here to help all of my March readings, which it's interesting because I was, I should be using Aquamarine for March. I'm going to bring that in here and it's actually a very similar energy to the blue topaz, but this is actually an Aquamarine that um, I mined and I found when I went mining. And this one's so crystal clear. I wish you could see it. With the way the light is you probably can't but it's very similar to the blue topaz and what it supports so I'm gonna put that here too so I've already done a couple of the signs where I didn't have the aquamarine so um, if you're cross watching or you see other videos and it wasn't in there I apologize but I'll it's gonna be here for all the rest of the ones I still have to record <laughs> all right general reading for Gemini for March 2018 so also um, again being a general reading this will be um, some messages will be for you some won't that's okay um, the way to get really specific messages is to do a private reading where I tune specifically into your energies and the messages coming through only for you so it's a lot clearer but it is my intention everyone watching one of my videos will get a message that is intended specifically for them no matter how they got here or when they got here. Okay. So let's see what's up for Gemini. So we get the King of Water, the Five of Water, and the King of Air coming in. Okay, interesting. And on the bottom of the deck, we get the Six of Air. So the theme of the reading right now for Gemini for the month is coming out of a, a time of, of challenge, a time of chaos, a difficult situation. And the six of air is that you're emerging out of the situation and going forward, moving forward. Things are starting to look up. It can be the energy of taking an actual trip, going somewhere um, geographically. But it is an energy, overall energy, that those of you who are Geminis who have been through a bit of a challenged time. The six of air is saying that you're victorious here coming forward, which I think is beautiful. And I'm, I'm mentioning this here because the four of fire is at the bottom as well as the three of fire, okay? And they feel like they wanted to come out. So the four of fire is happiness, love, abundance. This is a happy home life. This can be a card of like of marriage, really. This can be the successful completion of a project, abundance coming your way. So this could mean both, this could mean in love, or this could also mean in career. And the three of fire is about abundance and things looking really good, but they're, they're still not here yet, but they're on their way. So this is about having patience. This is about making long-term plans. So um, whatever's happening here and you're emerging out of a challenging time, Gemini, there is the message here of Abundance coming your way, either in love or in career and finances or or both, really. And um, it's leading to stability, success, contentment, peace. So 
that's beautiful to have as the theme of the reading for you this month. So we'll see what other cards come out and see if it's, uh, again, with many of you watching, it could be um, uh, a few different interpretations. So in the recent past here, we have the King of Water. So this is about opening up your heart. It feels like some of you have um, started connecting to your intuition in a totally higher level in a much deeper way recently because the king of water is somebody who is very much dialed into his heart space and also his intuition and he rules from this place he's comfortable using that as one of the tools that he has when he's coming to leading he's very trustworthy he's somebody who um you know it feels like you've been um uh, possibly getting some really good advice recently but it, it, but it's also just because he gives good advice because he knows how to lead and how to be the leader and guide people but he's also doing it from a place of compassion and from his heart space so it feels like a lot of you Gemini's coming into right now um, have really been opening up to your to the, your your ruling of your own intuition your true understanding of your power so what's coming up now is the five of water energies which is crying over spilt milk. This is about looking at the things that have, the three cups that have spilled. And, um, and, and being sad about what's not gone right, but there's still two cups here. Okay. So this is about things not having turned out the way you had hoped for. Um, so, you know, it's possible that this 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 challenge time you went through, there's disappointment around it right now. Your your heart's hurting a little bit about it, and I don't know again whether it's a relationship or whether it's a work thing, but being that there's two waters here, it could very well be a love relationship or an intimate partnership of some kind that just didn't turn out the way you wanted to, and you're sad about it. Um, but things are looking up for you, uh, which is. For sure. So let's see what, and so again, we'll get more cards to see what the storyline is here. But coming in here as well as the King of Air. So this is about speaking your mind with confidence. This is about balancing the mental and the emotional, which is probably why we have two airs, two waters here, and two fires actually. So there's a balance of the two, two, two happening here. So two cards from each suit coming through. So um, it feels like there's something where you might be seeking out some professional advice from somebody who's been through it, who understands it, somebody that can be a supporter, someone who's impartial, very diplomatic. But this is just about um, also speaking your truth. So uh, it, it's just reminding you that in this time, speak your truth in a diplomatic manner like don't just blurt it out but just do it in a way that's matter of fact if you need to speak your truth and say something then say it but don't like you know it's about doing it with confidence so if you're not confident don't say it that's what i'm hearing all right we'll get some more cards here i'll pull three more see what's happening here on the energy oracle deck by Sandra Ann Taylor. Tell me more about this King of Water, Five of Water, and King of Air, please. Storm warning just flipped out. Okay, we have two more. Thinking woman. Wow, she's been showing up in every reading I've done so far today. This is my third third sign I've done. Because I've done the general readings and then the love readings I do over on Vimeo. So I've already done four other readings and she has literally shown up in every single reading, I believe, that I've done today. So she's wanting to be known here, okay? So the storm warning here is, um, this is about something's coming. If there's a storm coming, don't worry. You will get through it. It's okay. Don't freak out. Um, but the fact it's in the reverse means it's kind of in the past. So again, this is in the past position. So some of you may have really been dealing with stuff that was like, you know, conflict, obviously coming out of the five energy, the six energy here, this conflict, there've been some storms. You've made it through 
and it's all going to turn out for the best, but there, this feels like the storm um, is, is behind you. So this is just confirming that this, that this challenge time was, is, is in your past because it's also coming in the past position and it's on its way out. And then what we're getting here is the thinking woman who she helps. She's a spiritual teacher. She teaches you how she's, she's leading the way. She's very knowledgeable. She knows what she's talking about because she's been there, done that, and she can help you. And when this card comes up in the reverse, it means it's just, it could be a difficult time in your personal growth. Um, you might be feeling a little confused. You might be disconnected from your heart's true path. And so it could be that there's a woman here who's being misleading too, because again, this came up in the reverse. So there could be a lady who's kind of like, seems like she's very nice and helpful, but in, she's not, really doesn't really have really good motives. And so... It feels like, again, the current energies for you right now, Gemini, is that like there is some element of something in your life that's caused you to feel sad, that it didn't work out, you're bummed about it, and you're processing that, and you're, it's causing you to question what your next path is in your, in your spirituality and in your growth. It's like, what is it, I'm hearing, like, what does this all mean? Why did, why did this happen? So... Coming through here with this King of Air, this is about speaking your mind with confidence, and then we're getting the anxiety card. So it feels like there's still an energy of like you're developing your confidence, you're moving more towards being able to speak your truth, but it still makes you feel a little afraid. And this is a very similar energy to the storm warning here being in reverse, because this is about it being in the past not to worry too much about it because it's not as bad as you think. Okay, so this was Spirit's way of saying if you're in a place here where you're wanting to um, speak up it's making you nervous spirit saying like you know it's okay it's probably not going to be as bad as you think so give it a try all right um, and this is letting your fears cloud you a little bit so don't don't let that happen this is about balancing mental and emotional considerations and this anxiety is, is here, but it's, again, it's, it's on, like the storm is on its way out, but the anxiety is still here a little bit. It's sort of almost like the fear of like what, what bad could happen, what's coming now. And you know what, when you're in this five of water energy, it's like you can get this attitude of like expecting the, expecting the worst or what, what else is going to happen next. You get into this little bit of a defensive mode, so... Um, just be aware of that in this month. Gemini. Okay, let's see what else is coming through here. A pull from the Soul Oracle cards by Sonia Choquette. Get three more. get rejuvenate don't push the envelope and quietly serve so this is a purification time rejuvenate making sure you're taking time to take care of you you've been through this five you've been through this storm it's in the past it's important for you to purify and rejuvenate your body your physical body it's like you've been working so hard that you just, you need to take care of you. And this guy is in his suit. He's in his suit sitting in a, in a bird bath because he's so, he's so hot from all his work that he doesn't even care. He's just going to go and sit in this fountain because he desperately needs to rejuvenate himself. He doesn't even care that he's getting his suit wet. Okay. So it's, it's like, you know, this is a time to take care of you. And this is also why it's saying, don't push the envelope. Like, you know, um, Make sure that you kind of try, don't, don't force things too soon. Don't, like, don't, I'm seeing an image of, of um, going up to the edge to almost prove your self-fulfilling prophecy, the sadness, right? It's like, oh, let me, like, let me prove that my grief is worthy or that I'm, or that my sadness is justified. Like, let me, like, almost, like, trigger it and like poke the bear 
to make sure that then of course then you something happens and then you can say see that's why I feel so bad look at like there's that energy of um like let things let sleeping giants lie right now because you don't really know where to go right now and so this is really this month will be important for you to just kind of don't try to do too much right now like there's you've been through a lot and it's shifting a lot but it's like sit and quietly serve like be be in um like i'm hearing a I'm hearing like a do what you feel is right because it's right to do not because of any recognition or anybody noticing or anything like just do um, don't do it for the fanfare do it because it's the right thing so maybe there's places you can help out that are just you want to help out because that's what that's what you want to do not because it's going to be something for example to go on your resume or anything it's literally just you just do it um so uh, the message here says your soul's purpose is to refine your instincts and temper your immature and self-centered tendencies in search of a more graceful expression of self Peacefully and joyfully accept the routine demands of your daily life with patience, love, and a willingness to serve. It isn't necessary to do great things to be fulfilled, but rather do all the little things necessary and often boring tasks of life with great love. This is a sign of true spiritual maturity. Interesting. Yeah, that's kind of what I was saying. It's funny. I've never gotten this card in all the times I've used this deck. So I was just going with what I was getting intuitively about it, and then uh, the book just confirmed a very similar message to that. So... And I'm going to see this don't push the envelope one too. Yeah, this is about your soul's purpose is to fully embrace your creative power in the moment and stop your brain from making you crazy. Stop believing that today is less important, less exciting, or less attractive than the elusive future. Turn off your brain's emergency valve and focus on what is now and listen to your higher self and not your fears. You have all the time in the world to achieve what you want when you heed your inner voice. Yeah, that's just, again, it's like there's that energy for you, Gemini, where there's some, it's like, I want to accomplish. I want to move something forward. I've been through this thing. I'm on a new journey. I want to, like, move forward. And I got to do, 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 do. And then, like, it's almost like you're, you're trying to almost stay ahead from some of this anxiety, maybe some of this upset and grief and sadness or things you need to just let go of a little bit emotionally. Um, it's like you're staying ahead of your, of your, um, of your pain by staying busy. And so it feels like this is an important month for you, Gemini, to really just like slow down, be, do the best you can, rejuvenate, because in that rejuvenation, you'll have enough energy and to make your, your efforts more productive. I'm going to pull a Romance Angel card now for you for the month. Let's see what message is coming through for you for love. I'm going to get one love message here for Gemini. What message do you have for Gemini about love? Forgiving and learning. Interesting. So this is about releasing and healing the past. This is an important time for you. Release and heal the past that's hurt you, that you've moved on from out of this five energy. Quietly serve. You know, do the little things and you do each of those. Like, you don't have to do anything big and dramatic. But your focus right now, Gemini, is really about releasing and healing the things in the past so that you can experience more love in your present moments. Okay, so that's a beautiful message. Um, it's important. I mean, it's it's an ongoing process always. So this five of water is asking you right now to forgive, show compassion, heal, and do some conscious work around this, like letting go of the things that you maybe 
have learned from your experiences, from from the ways you've acted, you wish you hadn't acted, or whatever it is. But this is an important theme for you right now, Gemini. When it comes to love in your life, so right now the focus should be on the forgiving and learning. Um, you know, yourself and others. And even, you know, family members. Our family of origin has a big impact on this as well. So... All right, and let's get a piece of the final card here for this reading, a piece of advice from Archangel Michael. What's Michael's best advice for Gemini for, for March? What would be your best advice, please? The person you're asking about is trustworthy. It says, "Help! thanks for helping me have faith so I can open my heart wider in my relationships. I'm grateful for your protection, ensuring that only trustworthy people are in my life. So if you're thinking of somebody as you're watching this and this is making sense for you, Michael wants you to know that whoever you're thinking about is actually a trustworthy person and having faith. Um, and have faith that the divine will support you in having the discernment to know whether someone is trustworthy, okay? Listen to your inner guidance. Listen to your... Because you're likely having anxiety possibly about somebody like, is this the person? Is it not? Like, am I ever going to have love? All this. Um, so if you're thinking about an, a specific person, this is Michael's message to you about having faith that you will also know whether someone is trustworthy in the future. Because possibly in the past you've trusted and you've gotten hurt. And so now you're worried if your trust meter is off. Well, it's not. It's actually helped you hone it even more. All right, Gemini, that's the March reading. Now, over on Vimeo, I am doing the um, Astrology Love readings on that channel. So we're going to do a reading on the Vimeo channel where we focus on the love for the month of March. So if you'd like a private reading, please reach out. And um, again, I appreciate all of your all of your participation in this in this community. It really is fabulous, and um, I really appreciate every single one of you. So until next month, I wish you the abundant love always. Bye.